this real time footage, I will take you through how I painted this rose in watercolour. But before we start, I would like to explain the background. Unfortunately, the camera didn't record my painting of the background, so I'm going to talk you through the colours that I used. I firstly painted around the drawing with clean water and I used cold pressed paper. Information about all of the resources that I have used are in the description below. So I used Sap Green, Hooker's Green and Payne's Grey and I just added areas of the paint onto the background and they expanded to create this dappled effect on the watercolour. I let it dry a little before starting to paint the actual rose and I want to talk about a few key elements about painting the rose that will help you with your watercolour painting. If you would like to access this particular image, it's, you will find it on Pixabay and there is a direct link in the description below and it's a very good resource for any reference images, especially flowers. So when you are painting your petals for your flower, and this goes for any flower, it's really important to remember that when you're using watercolour, watercolour expands like the background in the back in this image. So it's really important to paint each individual petal and that will help you with getting a realistic effect anyway because you're focusing on each petal. What you need to do firstly in the initial stage is wet the background of each petal and then apply the colour to that petal. Wait for it to dry fully before you paint the petal next to it. So work your way around leaving space around your wet watercolour work and then when it's dry you can go back and fill in the gaps. You may need to use a drying tool or a hair dryer in between if you want to work into your work without waiting it to dry for it to dry fully. So you will see in this clip me using a hair dryer. That's because I want to dry the work in between those stages. Also, in between some of those stages because the paper becomes slightly warped. If that happens to you, what you may want to do is spray the back of your watercolour work and put it in between some heavy books to flatten the work out. You may see some slight jumps in the footage. That is because my head has dipped into the shot. So this is real time footage, but there has been an occasion where I have had to edit my head coming into the shot and I hope you enjoy this real time footage.
Thank you.
Thank you. 